Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be going over Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Where do I even start? So, Christmas of 2019, my family got me a PS4 Pro. I've been collecting games for it for over two years, catching them on sale or at pawn shops. I remember coming home with Horizon Zero Dawn and announcing it uh, on Discord to my friends. Uh, my friends in Chattis immediately congratulated me on my wise purchase and said it was the first game I must play. And I'm so happy that I followed his advice. I have to start off by saying the game is something of a true beauty, and not just visually. It pulls at my soul, much like the haunting intro to Chrono Cross does. Even now, years after finishing the game, I can feel the pull urging me to play it again. Every aspect of Horizon was expertly crafted and fit together seamlessly. Getting lost in the visuals of the world, the sound, the story, and the combat is effortless. Normally I don't have a whole lot of time to play games, so I typically do not try hard for trophies. Horizon was the exception. It deserved my best effort, and so it became my first Platinum on my PlayStation 4 Pro. This game is amazing, and has earned my respect as a gamer. I don't think I will ever have the words to express what this game means to me. I never liked the term must play. So here I will just say that you owe it to yourself to try this game. So now, let's get to the game score and stay tuned for the DLC review because there's DLC and this game has earned the right to offer paid DLC. Like every other game on the planet, the starting score is three. The game was offered digitally and physically, so it gains a point. The immersion gets three points. This exceeded my expectation. This game made the world melt away. I wasn't at home sitting in front of my PlayStation 4. I was in the game. DLC, it actually gains a point. Voice actors in English gains one point. Game length, three points. This, again, this game far exceeded my expectation. Um, and nothing felt grueling. Nothing felt like it was um, a time waster or something to stretch the clock. Story, three points. I, I can't express how much it has earned those three points. Level design, again, three points. Um, the, the scenery is beautiful. Nothing, very few games can even come close or compare. Play balance, plus one. Complete experience, three points. Yeah, it's definitely a complete experience sense of progression two points um there wasn't really much of a leveling system or anything like that i mean you could i mean you gained advantages and stuff um but yeah that it's just two points it definitely met my expectations fairness punishing and rng um I'll tell you this every time i died to something it was because i was being stupid and not being tactical and not having a strategy going into a situation. Technical difficulties, two points. I I had almost no issues with this game whatsoever. And even the technical difficulties that did show up, uh, the game and the system were very forgiving and even uh, essentially ruling in my favor when something like that happened. 
game value to MSRP cost. This game came out at $59.99 and it gains three points for that. I, th I think I got much more value out of this game than $59.99. Choices and consequence. Honestly, I don't really see a lot of choice and consequence here other than not and go not going and getting some of the extra armors or something like that. So it really just loses a point here. Soundtrack. It gains three points. Uh, this soundtrack definitely pulls you further into the game and almost lets you feel the emotion of the main character. Visuals. Three points. The game is a stunner. It's You can't get past it. Difficulty, three points. Again, yes, there are maybe you, you could consider some things a difficulty spike, you know, go, running into certain enemies, but if you've got a plan, you can make it. Gameplay and combat, three points. Uh, this combat is completely out of this world and just completely exceeded my expectations. It is one of the only combat systems that I've seen where it's live action that competes with the Arkham series. Control, three points. Uh, replay value, one point. Again, I'm not too much of a replay person, but uh, it is, the, the value is there. It's just probably not for me. Camera, it loses a point. I had some collision issues where the camera would uh, physically collide with something when it really should have been able to pass through it and make whatever was between the camera and the player or the and the character transparent. Uh, unlockables and rewards, uh, plus one point because you know some of the things you you know that you go and get you really have to work for. Sense of accomplishment plus three points and again guys uh hang on and wait for the you know up next we're going to be going over the dlc um and honestly this game has really earned the right to offer a paid dlc so the total for horizon zero dawn on playstation 4 50 points that is so far one of the highest scoring reviews that i have for this and it's it's just beautiful so, now we're going to move on to the DLC. Normally, I hate paid DLC. Mainly because it's of how it's abused and how it's a paywall for the complete experience instead of something to add and enrich the game. Frozen Wilds is not an abuse of a gamer's trust. It is in fact a great addition to the game that enhances the experience, expands the story, and provides a, an additional challenge, all while not diminishing the original game experience. Would I suggest that you buy this? Yes. Yes, I would. Without question or hesitation. Now let's see the score. Starting score for DLC is one point, because it was created and it was crafted into the game, and it did not break the game. It is one cost, so it only so it gains a point there. The immersion gains three points. Multiple endings it did not have, so it loses a point. Added story plus one point. Voice actors plus one point. DLC length plus two points. Story plus two points. Level design plus two points. Complete experience. Yeah, it definitely gave me a complete experience. Plus two points. Sense of progression. Yes, this had a sense of progression. There were new experiences and there were new puzzles to solve. So yes, uh, it gains two points. Fairness, punishing an RNG. Plus one point. Um, there were a few times where things spiked a little bit. Um, although... You know, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe some of the enemies are a little bit damage spongy on the fairness and, and, and uh, RNG punishing bit. 
gain value to MSRP cost, plus two points. I really think that it's uh, definitely worth it. Although you can purchase the Game of the Year edition or the Complete Edition or whatever they're calling it and get all of this DLC essentially for free. Um, soundtrack, plus two points. Visuals, plus two points. Difficulty, plus two points. Control, uh, plus three points. Replay value, plus one point. Unlockables and rewards, plus one point. Sense of accomplishment, plus three points. So, that totals the Frozen Wilds DLC to 33 points on DLC, which right now, I believe that holds the record. Thank you for staying and listening to the review of the DLC. And honestly, um, that's all I've got for you. And just, you know, go out, have fun, pick up this game, give it a shot. It definitely deserves a little bit of your attention. And have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.